YouTube. Just something I'd like to talk about. Nothing better to do today, really. Not going to be going anywhere, not going to be doing anything special. Sat outside, not working today, so sat outside the tent in the lovely weather and just chilling, relaxing, nice and lunch in the bed. That's it. So, what I wanted to talk to you about, really, is um, TV. Strange topic, maybe, but it's just something I just thought I'd like to talk about. Now. I know, old man rants about things. Things aren't the same as they used to be, back in my day and all this sort of thing, but this is a fact, as far as I'm concerned. No doubt millions, if they watch this, might disagree, but seeing there's only about 20 or 30, we'll see how it goes. So, back in the day, when I was young, 60s, 70s, even into the 80s, TV was so much better than today. That, it's, a, it's a simple fact. Simple things like comedy. Now, I don't watch a lot of TV, obviously, I'm sat outside my tent, um, can't really get a lot of TV, internet's not good enough to do a lot of streaming, so I'm pretty limited, and I'm out of the country so awful lot, and 16 years in Germany, so I didn't see a lot of UK TV, 90s, early 2000s, but back in the day, 60s, 70s, even early 80s, you had, like, comedy duos, you know, um, sort of sketch comedy and um, on the stage comedy, comedy duos. Uh, you had the likes of um, Cannon and Boar. Not one of my favourites, but favourites of a lot of people, and no doubt they were good at what they did. And then you've got something like the Two Ronnies, um, a different league altogether. They were very, very good. And the kings of um, comedy duos, is of course my opinion, and I think a lot of people's, is Morton and Wise. They were just brilliant all through, like two and a half, three decades, or whatever, however long they were going for. Um, they were, they, they just, they were hysterical and so, so professional. Um, I know that um, Eric Morgan had a bit of a reputation for being an absolute perfectionist, and it showed, it really did. There was a lot of ad living going on back in those ones, you could tell sometimes, but just brilliant. These sort of things don't exist anymore, well, as far as I'm aware they don't. You get a lot of stand-up comics, some are very good, some just, no, not so. Um, you had stand-up comics back in the day, of course, a lot of them, um, probably even more than now. Um, there were comedy shows just showing you those one after the other um, back in the day. But um, so yeah, so so comedy um, and comedy shows like that have changed over the years. You just don't get much of that sort of thing on TV nowadays. And if you do, definitely not of the same quality. Uh, things are just better. <laughs> um, other things like um, TV shows. Um, like I'm a big comedy fan. I think life is serious enough you need cheering up sometimes and back then it was um things like probably the, one of the best ever dad's army a lot of people watching this wouldn't have a clue what i'm talking about but dad's army brilliant um set i think it was supposed to be in a fictional town i think it was warmington on sea um i think correct me if i'm wrong i think that was supposed to have been in kent somewhere on the coast and um dad's army was basically um part-time soldiers in the Second World War that um, went on a patrol at night and all this sort of thing and um, keep the towns safe from invasion if should it ever happen. This was like a comedy of that and it was just it was just brilliant. Um, so they all had their, their professions, you know, you had the butcher and the baker and the undertaker. <laughs> we didn't have a candlestick maker as far as I know, but you had all these different professions. A lot of them, yeah, so some worked in the bank or three of the characters worked in the bank. Um, and evenings they'd get together, and you had Captain Mannering, who was also the manager of the local bank in Warmington on Sea, would be the would be the captain for that. And it was just it was just brilliant. So they, Dad's Army basically were people who were too old to join the forces, or in some cases too young. Uh, but on the whole, they were too old. Um, is is what Dad's Army, hence Dad's Army, brilliant. And then you um, had the likes of. What, what else did you have? You had things like um, George and Mildred, or Porridge, or um, all, all, all sorts of things. Robin's Mess, Man About the House, loads of comedies. Now, these I know for a fact you don't get nowadays, and if you do, 
I can guarantee you they wouldn't be the same. So these are things worth for the jung younger generation. Maybe have a look at these sort of things. I know you can see everything on YouTube nowadays, so have a look. I recommend it. So after after that, we basically um, in in the UK back in the day only had one channel. Then went two, three, and four. We had four channels up into the early eighties. That was BBC, B BBC One, BBC Two, ITV, Channel Four. That's all we had. We hadn't got like hundreds of channels and satellite dishes and cable TV and all of a sudden just just didn't exist. Um, I think it was probably a lot better because there was more energy and more effort put into those few channels that we did have, and that's where you got the likes of um, Morecambe and Wise, you know, and the and the likes of um, sort of into the eighties. Um, when there weren't that many, as back in the 60s and 70s, I sort of started, because Channel 4 had started up, I started watching things. For me, one of my favourite TV shows, comedy TV shows of all time, was a, um, about a bar in Boston, starring Woody Harrelson, one of my favourite actors, and Ted Danson, brilliant actor, and Kirstie Alley, amongst others. Um, and it was called, it's set in a bar in Boston, it was called Cheers, the bar was called Cheers, and it was that good, that funny, and the storyline was that good and funny, that you also, because it was always based around this bar, you all almost felt like you were sat in the bar and being a part of it, now that's that's a sign of a good show, and that's what I felt, I think it was every Friday, Friday evening, 7, 8 o'clock, whatever, 9 o'clock, whatever time it was, um, and that went on for, I think, nearly a decade. After that, you had, I suppose, there, were, there were others like the Cosby Show, although I can't really talk about that for obvious reasons, for people knowing, but there's no taking away from the fact that was that was a good show, the Cosby Show. Um, then you had Roseanne, was another very good one, um, with Roseanne Barr in it, and other actors that have nowadays and have become very famous in their own right. And you had, then after that, you had the likes of um, Friends, with the famous uh, Jennifer Aniston in it, who, you know, it's Jennifer Aniston. I mean, a lot of men would agree, Jennifer Aniston, yeah. <laughs> so that that was that was very, very good. Not, as far as I'm concerned, in the same league as Cheers. Nothing has been since and probably never will be again. That's just my humble opinion. Um, so after that, you had um, Friends. What did you have then when that finished? That did about 10 years. They tend to do about 10 years, these American sitcoms, don't they? That seems to be the lifespan of them. And it was the same with um, the Big Bang Theory that followed Friends um, and a few other series that were out at the time, mostly American, you know, comedies. Um, the early American comedies um, weren't that good, but from Cheers onwards, they progressed. You know, I don't want to say they progressed, they never... But as far as I'm so they never beat Cheers. You still can't. So after after Friends, and of course everybody nowadays, the younger generation would know the Big Bang Theory, and um, very very funny. And what followed on, and it's still going now. I'm looking at the internet, and I believe there's going to be another couple of series, maybe. Um, I think they're on number seven, or they, no, they just finished series six. It is, I think six. Um, is the Young Sheldon. So a follow-on from Sheldon from the Big Bang Theory. That's a slightly different, as in there is no live audience, as in with most of these, there's more of a comedy drama. There's no canned laughter, nothing. So it's more of a comedy drama. And it's very good. I do enjoy that. But apart from that, I must say, there just seems to be nothing nowadays. It just can't compare. And that's just not me being a grumpy old man saying things aren't the way they used to be. It's, it's a simple fact. And if you look into it, the younger generation, you know, look, in, look into comedy shows from the 70s, 60s, 70s, and even into the 80s. You know, you can't, you can't beat it. Look into that, look up Dad's Army, look up Morgan and Wise, see what you missed. <laughs> just maybe you think it's pathetic, maybe you think that comedy is just so far out of date that you just don't find it funny. I mean, before them, of course, we're talking back, what would it be? Decades before before them was the likes of Laurel and Hardy, of course, um, based in America, wasn't it? Although one of them um, was was British, uh, but again, that, so a lot of, I suppose, 
from Morecambe and Wise and so on, got a lot of their stuff maybe from, from Lauren and Hardy, Aberdeen and Costello were other ones, that's, but that's before my time. But I did grow up watching those on TV and it obviously would have been in black and white. But yeah, just, just to, nowadays you've got so many channels. Um, like I say, I haven't got TV here, but um, I do know there's so many channels and there's not an awful lot on, is it? It's all these sort of um, blockbuster fantasy films and series which people are really into nowadays and they'll, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll stream the whole lot and, and they could look at those in a matter of days sort of thing. I, I know people who have done that and, and good for them if that's what they're into, that's great. You know, it's the same reading the book, not everybody's taste is the same, is it? But all I'm saying is back from the 60s, 70s and before the 60s, but before my time, I know it was also very good as well. Um, so my personal favourites, like I say, is the likes of Porridge and Dad's Army, as far as the British sitcoms go, and even even things like Man About the House and um, George and Mildred, which was a follow-on from that. Um, th these things, um, if you're into comedy and you're the younger generation, maybe have a look at that. You might find it funny, you might find it too childish. Who, who knows? Uh, but certainly worth looking at. So I just thought I'd have a bit of a rant about that today. I said I'm not going to be doing anything special today. I'm just enjoying the sunshine, sat outside my tent, Start making some lunch within the hour, I suppose. Um, have a bit of a snooze, whatever. Uh, I'm not working today. So, yeah, there you go. So, like I always say, please like, subscribe if you feel like it. If not, really not a big deal, but it would be nice. Um, and any comments also welcome. And uh, I'll be seeing you soon with some more videos. I hope you enjoyed the video I did last time up on the Bromyard Downs. That was yesterday. So um, I hope you enjoyed watching that, or I hope you have watched it. If not, please do. And um, I'm looking to do similar sort of things. Maybe get some more derelict cottages, maybe all sorts of stuff. So we'll see what I can find when I'm not working. Because I say now I'm up and running more, the money's coming in. I can afford to put fuel in the car and have a wander around and see what, what's about. So everybody take care. Have a lovely rest of the day. Enjoy the sunshine. And we'll speak soon. Bye for now.